Okay, we've got option two here for connecting Wi-Fi to a, uh, a Raspberry Pi. So if you use an XBMC and you want Wi-Fi, um, you can see guide one, which is a very simple guide, and that is using an externally powered USB hub. However, there is another method which works really well. Um, it's actually my favoured method, but it does involve a little bit more hassle. Um, this method is using an IR receiver. So you make your own IR receiver, and I've done a guide on how to do that, which you can check on the Total XBMC guides. Um, it's actually very simple to do. It's good fun. It'll probably take you uh, maybe an hour uh, to create one of those. And there's no soldering needed or anything like that. It's just a fun little project. And it'll probably cost you, um, you know, maybe two pounds or something like that to make your own receiver. And then you can use whatever um, remote control you want with it. So in my case, uh, I find the Xbox 360 ones work fantastic, really, really well. Uh, you know, the system was actually made for the Xbox initially, Xbox Media Center, hence XBMC. Um, so all of these buttons, you know, they just work great. And again, you can find a uh, key map uh, set up and a config file for this particular remote and this, this mod on Total XBMC. So once you've got this set up, you can see there, it just goes on these pins here. So you've got the, uh, the GPIO output there. And then you can put it back together, depending on what case you've got, you may need to do a slight little modification on the case, but it's not usually uh, needed. So I'm just going to poke that through there. There we go. And there we have it, all boxed up. And what you'll find with this, because it's infrared um, and not RF, so it's uh, infrared, not radio frequency, this has to be, this little tiny bit at the end here, that has to be in line of sight with the remote control. Um, but once you've got that, you found that you can actually control the device. You're not using up uh, an extra USB port for the dongle, so you've then got room for your USB stick and your Wi-Fi dongle in there. That way around. And then obviously your SD card goes in there. And you're already all set up, um, no need for a USB hub. And this works great. Like I say, this remote is fantastic. It's actually my favorite one. I know it's not got a keyboard, but it works fantastically, really, really well. Okay, thanks for watching.